also pictures of that protest at Downing Street. Time to get Khan out, say the ULEZ rebels. Um, the Telegraph have also led with ULEZ. Um, Khan faces revolt over ULEZ. Transport Secretary calls for grace period before fines issued after a chaotic first day of expanded scheme. Um, they've got pictures of a coffin with flowers on and no to ULEZ. I have to say, not quite down with the uh, the, cof the mock coffin um, uh, imagery. I'm not, I don't really get that. I've got yeah. to be honest with you. That's, it's him who's playing on his complete lies about 4,000 deaths a year in London from pollution. Again, an absolute lie. He knows it's a lie. I called him out for being a liar yesterday. Um, he, he knows it. He's either a liar or he's stupid, and I know he's not stupid, put it that way. Um, have people overblown this? The response to you, Les? Mm. I, I, I do think so. I think at its heart, I know, you know a lot of listeners and maybe you, Julia, disagree with me, the ULES policy in and of itself isn't a bad policy. But the way it's been handled, the way it's been talked about has just... It's been an incredibly controversial policy because of the way Sadiq Khan has handled it. And it has meant that any clean air zones in other mm. cities, it's going to be controversial in London for a long it's time. It's not going to make a difference, though. It's going to make, a, at best, a 3% difference to quality I, of the air. Well, but it's I, at massive cost and massive imposition on people. Well, I th yeah, as I said, I think the way it has been handled, the scrappage schemes are not generous enough, they weren't advertised well, I don't, well, I don't enough, want my taxpayers' money paying for perfectly good vehicles to be taken off the road. Well, I would argue that if they're, you know, in the top whatever percent of polluting vehicles, then they should be, you know, people should be encouraged. And you don't have to. No, I'm They're not being encouraged. Well, the scrappage scheme is forced. an encouragement. You don't have to pay the fine. There well, are well, no, alternatives. You can upgrade your vehicle. You can no, reduce the use people, of your no, vehicle. No, um, most, lots of people can't upgrade their vehicle. The reason why people have old vehicles that aren't compliant is because they can't afford to upgrade their vehicle. Because you know what they would have done if they could afford it? They'd have upgraded their vehicle. That's why we need more generous scrappage schemes. No, you that's why we need to those. not force people to sell perfectly good cars. Generous, the more generous the scheme, the more hard-working people's taxes are being used to pay for perfectly good roadworthy cars to be taken off the streets, which aren't causing any problem for anybody. I think they are causing well, a well, problem. Well, you can think as much as you want, but the scientific surveys show they're not. They're not. The way this has been handled means there will never be a rational discussion about any clean air zone anywhere else in the UK. We've had plenty of rational discussions about it. I'm quite happy for really, really polluting, you know, big lorries and things to be taken off the road. But we're not... The idea that someone driving from one little part of, of, of you know, North London to another little part, um, the idea that that person needs to be charged £12.50 and suddenly no no children are going to die, I mean, that's the basic argument from the deep kind. It's an absolute nonsense. He's brought this on himself, if you ask me.